on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. abandon them, not after a lifetime of study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Knock me off. 
stop this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you. They told us you'd kicked it. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly, you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. It doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh, never blame myself for anything. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. So is the command block controlling all three Witherstorms? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Ugh. <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. 
Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey. It's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Look, even if your friends are out there somewhere, there's nothing you can do for them. What? No. If they're alive, I have to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault. It's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? <laughs> Don't think so. over cobblestone might come in handy. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Magnus. Everyone knows Magnus. Magnus? Hmm. And how do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Yeah, really. You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Talk a little about Eligard. Eligard, yes. She was uh, really something. Smart, funny, amazing with redstone. Heck, <laughs> she was the one person among us who didn't even need the... Uh, the... Didn't need the what? You know, uh, never mind. Point is, you liked her. A lot. We all did. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Eligard. Man, I don't even know where to begin. What are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. 
I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I'm asking you, as a friend, please stay, Lucas. We need you right now. You really mean that? Yes, we're in this together. Whatever happens next, there's no way we can do it without you. Okay, I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Me too. Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. Ruben! Oh, not again. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Ruben I said that. He might get jealous. Understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. ever come of that? Jesse, you shouldn't sneak up on people. Ignore him, Jesse. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The weather storm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Is that even possible? Yes. Yes, I, I think it might be. We'd simply need to get a large group of them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. The question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. Isn't it obvious? 
The fortress is the key. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh, dear. What was that? so quickly we're not safe anywhere are we well we can't stand around and wait for it guys there's a reason it's been following us ivor says it's because of the amulet that gabriel ivor it is you good to see you too magnus hello my name is gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help. And that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. See you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. further.
rear end is profoundly sore. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. A witch's hut. Ah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake! That's, that's enough to feed everyone! It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. A potion of leaping. Cool. Wonder what horrible stuff's been brewed in there. them for wow i see your wow and raise you a it's like we're at the edge of the world actually we seem to be at the corner of it welcome to the far lands my friend feel a 
lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Hey, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. So what am I looking at here, exactly? This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Very few have seen it in person. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. Ivor really went out of his way to make sure he'd never have visitors, huh? He was always secretive. It was both his weakness and his strength. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or, I don't know, some way around. We followed Ivor to the Far Lands, we might as well keep going. Here we go, into another dungeon of doom. is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. The Far Lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a... Jesse! There's too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Safe to say, the Far Lands are strange. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer.
Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! See a way across. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Am I glad to see you guys? Us too. I thought Reuben and I would be lost in here forever. <laughs> this maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it, though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right. I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Who cares what she said? I do. 
She was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. All I know is the world is depending on us. Then maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You found Eligard, I found Magnus. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Stone block. She's going to be just fine. Sometimes people just need a pep talk. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. <laughs> it must be this way. Run! Everybody get on. Quick, onto the barge. That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> No, no, I'm positive. Soren, are you afraid of flying? <laughs> but the, the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Exciting? Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there.
guys. Looks like this is a... There's too many. We can't fight them all. Everyone, back! 